Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that socialist candidate Francois Hollande has won the French presidential election. He's beaten Nicolas Sarkozy by a close margin, but enough for Sarkozy to concede defeat. So what does this mean for markets and interest rates and currencies? Well, this is a sign that voters are against the austerity plan that, until now, most of Europe has been going for. This is an austerity plan led by Germany to keep the euro together. Unfortunately, it's driving down growth rates. In fact, much of Europe is now in recession. This is all raising fears about growth and jobs by voters, and effectively, voters are ruling against the interests of creditors. Now, that will concern many people in financial markets. And this is now the 11th leader that has been voted out by voters after the onset of the global financial crisis. The question now is, will the Germans and the Europeans be able to keep that austerity pact going and keep the euro together, ultimately? Or has the euro become a new gold standard? Markets are likely to be volatile, and we've seen that this morning, where, of course, there's been little reaction on global markets, they're still shut. But in New Zealand, the New Zealand dollar is down to 79.4 US cents, a new four-month low. We saw wholesale interest rates also fall sharply on Thursday and Friday, and the New Zealand dollar has fallen below its key supports. Now, often the New Zealand dollar falls when there's risk off concerns about global growth and commodity prices. Also, late on Friday night, we saw weak US job numbers, and the S&P 500 fell 1.6%, European stocks fell 2%, and the oil price fell sharply too. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9 from interest.co.nz.